Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 6 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. Man, we are back in the Ice Spikes, as you can see. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm hanging with the polar bears, as you can see, but we are also trying to get as many green frogs as possible. I have five right now. I also wanted to see if I could just get a little bit of this ice right here, maybe compact it down. I want to see if I can get some blue ice, because that nether highway that we've been working on, if we can get around a little bit faster on a boat and on some ice, that would be, uh, that'd be kind of nice, a little bit more efficient. Luckily, we have our trusty uh, boat with a chest here, so we can just unload all of the ice in here we possibly need. I have a, unfortunately, I have a too, many, too many things with me, but... Uh, Actually, we need, we need to go pick up some of these guys' friends. Back in the mighty mangrove swamp, we are trying to get a couple of these little guys down here. These little tadpoles. What's up, my little dudes? How you doing? Yeah, these are going to be some nice-looking white frogs. Okay, there's only three of them left, and uh, I got to find it because he hopped out, and I have no idea where this guy went. Oh, I see the little guy. What is up? How you doing? Oh, also, these guys have names because on stream, we do have a command where if you're there long enough, you can basically get enough points where you can get one named after yourself. So feel free to come anytime. It's twitch.tv slash waxfraud. We stream every day. I was swimming around the swamp looking for more frogs, and I found this mountain over here that just looks like it's laughing at me. Might as well get me some lily pads while I'm here. Hey, 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 we got our first guys. Let's go. Never going to get over how smooth these guys swim right behind you. It's kind of awesome leading them around with leads. Picked up our green friends. Now we have so many frogs behind us. This is awesome. Finally back home. Let's go over here. Drop the boat off. Oh, God. Always, one of the frogs always hops in the boat. I guess we'll leave it for now. But we can hop over here. I did leave an area so I can look in here a little bit. We don't have nothing available yet. I guess we have the two original frogs and these tadpoles. These guys are actually going to be the orange frogs. While we're waiting on these guys to hatch open, actually, there's a couple things I wanted to show you. First things first, we got a villager breeder now. Look at this. This was actually done in a long play that we did. Thank you, by the way, if you did watch the long play. But these guys in here, they're just constantly going for carrots. And uh, then they make little dudes. The little dudes drop through this little hole right here down there. And then they end up just walking out. They'll end up coming through here. They take a nice little trip through a hallway, and then they just become a little part of society. Got a nice little bee tree now here, but I'm, I'm liking the backside of this. The town is starting to look more like a town every episode, and I, I just love it. I'm gonna stop by real quick and say what's up to John. Where's my boy John? Come on now. John, are you here? John, I know you're here somewhere. John, what are you doing? So many pandas, but no John. Is this... It? John, I found you. Buddy, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. You know what? I, you look so good. Let's get, let's give you some food. Let's Let's eat, buddy. Feast. Something we also built recently was this cozy little uh, villager market, and uh, yeah, we built this over a long play as well, and uh, it turned out all right. It's a, it's a little bit boxy, but I, I do enjoy the build, and uh, we do got to see what's up with Daniel, man. How you doing, Daniel? Are you all good, man? You just you've been you've been pondering. Are you been pondering your existence or? No, oh, they're alive. They they came out of nowhere. Oh wait, what does this mean? Uh oh, when the squad hops into town. Oh, does that mean we have all three frog types? Let's go. And now that we have two of each kind of frog, we can go over to the Nether portal over here, and we can start to make frog lights. This is about to be awesome. I've never made any frog lights either, so this is uh this is gonna be pretty exciting. I'm having a bit of a hard time getting these frogs up on these fireplaces, or on these campfires. Why do I keep calling them fireplaces? That's very odd. All right, guys. Come on. You're making this a little bit harder than it needs to be. Come through the door, frogs. Come through the door. We must. Come on. One at a time. Single file. I didn't realize frogs were too big to fit through doors. That's actually kind of crazy. All right. Let's see what happens when we just start taking them into our nether hub. Oh, gosh. The frogs hopped through. They hopped through, like, immediately. Hold on. Get over here, bud. Get over here. Bam. Okay, they're here. Whoa, ding. Okay, that was close. I did not put a roof on here, and that was probably not the best idea. Follow me, though, guys. It is kind of fun seeing the uh, overworld mobs in the nether. I figured, why not set up a little area right outside of the nether hub where a lot of these magma cubes are going to be spawning? Get you right there. Okay, so now all three of them are on each. We'll probably get three more on these two. I just have a couple fences set up for, you know, just for the meantime. We can get something like a, a minecart system set up under here so that when the magma cubes spawn... Uh, these are all just taken immediately because, I mean, I'm not on a... The, the demand for the frog lights aren't that big. I'm just curious to see what they look like on some builds, and so we're just going to get some. A lot of these magma cubes around here that are spawning. Come on, come on. I know you want to make a frog light. Come on, come over here, dude. This frog is absolutely surrounded by these magma cubes, but uh, but I'm, I'm not getting any frog lights. I don't understand what's going on. Oh, never mind. Oh, God. I, right out of the corner. Oh, it's it's going. This is massive. Let's go! Oh, dude, he's going to work. You know what we should do is get a little bit over here. Yo! Okay. All right. I'll take it. All right, let's see what we got. I didn't even realize that was going to be an advancement. We got the yellow. Oh, my God. Dude, that is... Okay. 
These are um, these are so bright with the shaders on too. That is incredible. Building with these is about to be a blast. I actually cannot wait. I just I love watching frogs do that. It is awesome. This frog is dialing in. Come on, buddy. Take the yeah. Let's go. There are so many Endermen over here just trying to. They're just carrying what? They're just like carrying nonsense. You know what? Be gone. Be gone. You too. All right. Let's go this way. They're gonna start screaming at me, but we're gonna be chilling. Hey, you, sir. I'm looking right at you. Why don't you get over here? You, I'm, I'm looking. Get over here. Hey, you, sir. I'm looking right at these guys, and they're not really doing anything about it. Get over here. Get back here. Be gone, sir. I like the different names for these two. We got the ochre frog light. We got the verdant frog light. And we have the pearlescent frog light. Came back with three more fellas over here. We can go bam. Let's actually just get you in the corner. And then the green feller. Why don't you just take a little step over here? That actually is a little bit too close for comfort. I do not want this frog going in the lava. We need to build a little bit more. Now, I'm wondering what exactly these lights are going to look like in the overworld. I haven't placed them yet. So I'm, let's just place them down here. We got the, oh my God, the green, the pink. We got the yellow too. Dude, this is, a, all right. So these are very much like kind of the same color as glowstone almost, but just a nice uh, smoother color. These I feel like are going to go very well with all of like the end stone and the purple blocks. And for some reason, I'm thinking these green lights might actually do better than just like the glowstone underground. If we wanted to put some green lights under the, like some of the leaves or something, that actually might work out. Go ahead, we can just put a frog light right here. Oh yeah, that's gonna blend in nice. We can put a little, oh. Now we have light coming from over. This is actually a good way to put, like, just light up. You don't have to put torches everywhere. I know people like to go down one block, put a torch, put moss over that, but honestly, the Verdant Frog Lights might be the new way to go ahead and light up your world. Just for fun, I actually might go right here, place some frog light right around here, just to, you know, just to brighten up this little bee tree area that we got going on. We have a lot of bees. I don't have an actual, like, apiary or bee sanctuary set up yet, so kind of just been going around town, shearing up as much, like, as many beehives as I can. Like, we, we get all, we have a lot of honeycombs that we're grabbing, but uh, we don't have an, we don't have an exact setup for any or any redstone setup for that matter for any of the bees. Now I'm kind of curious what these look like underwater. Man, I'm I'm just like a kid at a toy store right now. I'm just having such a good time with these new blocks. We'll go bam. That's cool. That's cool too. I mean, they all look pretty much the same. That's just underwater. I guess I should have guessed that. We're back at the frog light farm, and we're just grabbing a couple more frog lights here, and I don't know, I, I haven't decided to put the hopper system down yet, or the hopper minecart system. I, I probably will on stream eventually, but I just, I didn't feel like doing that right now. I brought nine total frogs over here, though, put slabs right there as so, because uh, they kept getting, like, glitched right on top of the 1.5 blocks uh, worth of the fence, and so I had to just put slabs there to get them off of it, because they kept glitching and just staying up there, so any time a magma cube jumped up, they would do it, but if they were on the ground, it wouldn't work, so... Slabs it is, and I'm just gonna let them stay here for a little bit. Eventually, I'll make a big barrier so we don't even have to have them tied up, but I don't know, exactly. I don't know. If I feel like just for right now, uh, we're just gonna do it this way. And uh, you can probably tell that there's a big change to the nether highway. Look at this. We have the blue ice. We have the buttons. No spawning in here. Oh, God, that magma cube sounded very close. We also lined up the edge with uh, these homemade beacon-looking side lights, and uh, yeah, we have the yellow, pink, green alternating all the way down. I love this so much, though. You can go so fast, and we can go around the corner all the way down. Oh, God, if I can control myself. All the way down towards the nether fortress, and here we are. Boom. We're already here. Uh, pretty soon, I'm going to start flattening all this stuff out so that we can get our Wither Skelly Skulls and our Blaze Farm set up over here as well. I still haven't found a Blaze Spawner, but I will eventually. I'm, I'm trying to. Oh man, I am withering away, but uh, this looks so cool from far away. It looks just a little bit futuristic in the nether, and it just, it feels really nice to have that contrasting look. But for real, it does take, it only takes me like 10, 15 seconds to get all the way back home if I can line myself straight, but oh yep, there we go. And yeah, it's literally, we've been, we've been going for not even 10 seconds, I guarantee it. And we can just hop out and we're all good to go. Sometimes it can take me a little bit to uh, get to and from the village and stuff. So I'm tying up this dolphin right here so I can just have... Ooh, ooh, so the second dolphin came right here. That was perfect. I'm tying up two dolphins. I know it's not uh, the most humane thing, but if I just tie a dolphin up right there. And on the other side, then I can, I can just have... Oh, look at this. I can get to and from so quickly. This is amazing. Now that we're back in the overworld, today what I really want to do... Actually, you know what? We're by the gold board, so what we're gonna do is... I got... You know what? I got that iron farm out of the way. Let's get that here. I did a trading hall, and uh, now the third thing I want to do is actually right here. I want to do an XP farm today. Let's cross it off early, just so that we know that we can get it done. I think I kind of want to do it right on the coast. I was thinking about doing like a tower, maybe a lighthouse out of it, because I'm gonna do a pretty easy design where you can just build up maybe... I think it's like 25 blocks tall. 
at most with the slabs on top. And I think I was going to go right in this area because nothing really spawns in the water. And uh, I'm just trying to build uh, over this direction anyways to make the village look larger. So I actually thought maybe in the middle of the ocean out here was probably just a little bit better of an idea. Less mob spawning, just we know that for sure. So we can just put a couple hoppers up here, get some slavage right on top of that. And um, then we can go around to the corners. There are plenty of tutorials for these. I've, I've made a couple of these before. I don't really know which one I'll link to yet because I'm not really doing a tutorial for this. I'm just going to go up by 22 blocks uh, tall just, just to make it long enough so that I can one-shot all the mobs that fall through here. You do want to make sure that there is a gap here. Some people like to use not slabs but like other types of blocks like dirt blocks to, to be even more safe in hardcore. But I'm going to go up 22 blocks tall. Wow, 22 actually seems pretty tall from up here. Man, the town is just really coming together i'm i'm really liking all of this and the bees they're all still getting stuck on the campfires hmm should we uh, jump in the water or should we break our ankles I'm, I'm gonna break the ankles let's go next just go ahead and uh, build out eight blocks in total because that's how long water flows in a minecraft game and just go out each direction here uh that way all of the mobs can fall in because you're gonna put trap doors up they're gonna fall into the water they're gonna fall all the way down that way you can one shot them I was about to cover this thing up without putting in the trap doors. We have to do this because then the mobs will uh, think it's a full block. And I have way too much jungle wood, so that's why I'm using the jungle wood today. Now we can go bing, we can go bang, and we can go over here. We can go boom, and we can go bop. It is so, it's so dark in here now. There's a little bit of light coming in from the sides. I'm not sure why. I have it all slabbed up, but I think it might just be the shaders that are doing that. I'm gonna head down here and uh, close up this last guy and uh, get all the way back down. Now, most people will actually just go all the way up to the top, but uh, I decided not to do that. I'm just kind of getting far away, and I believe we have our first dude that fell down to the ground. Let's go. Never mind. This is a guy that I think actually just spawned under the mob farm. Hold up, dude. This is... No, this is not right. You're not supposed to be here. It's happening. It happened. I see creepers. I see zombies. Dude. Okay. Well, we officially have our mob farm. Can I just smack him like this? Yep. It looks like we can't... Oh, that was a zombie. I'm making the outer walls uh, basically going up on this right now, and I'm starting to realize that this might not necessarily look like a... Uh, yeah, this is, this is not going to look like a lighthouse. It's a little bit too thick, so I'm going to have to turn it into something else. Yeah, looking at this, this, this is not turning out to be a, uh, a lighthouse shape, so we're probably going to... You know what? I mean, we did... We made a square look pretty interesting over there. We could probably do something similar over here. I might actually... I'm probably going to go up the sides with actual deep slate bricks, deep slate tile bricks as well. I was thinking about going five across in between of them, but uh, I don't think that's going to work out. We're going to have to do three. Bing, bang, boom, and bop. Really got to do something about this dog population. It's uh, it's getting a little hefty. Oh, wait, uh, we, have a, we have a turtle egg down there. I never even noticed that. I should go pick that up later. Um, we're actually at the top. Oh, didn't even realize I was already up here. Uh, as you can see, I'm decorating a little bit, getting the stairs over here. On one side and the other side, we're going to put the deep slate tile wall in the middle and the deep slate around the side to make it seem a little bit more thick. I didn't know if I wanted to go with this castle look, um, so I think I'm going to actually fill that in. And we might go out one block this way and up one, and we might surround it with a little bit of calcite and possibly some mangrove wood at the top. So we can make it look like it's a little bit of a house at the top, but it's not going to be functional. We're not putting anything in here. Before any mangrove gets added, I thought it would be a you know, good idea to add the classic tile wall to fence to chain to lantern combination here. It's got to go on every single build in the map. You know how it is. This is like a, it's like a kind of a prison castle looking build, and it's always raining while I'm building this. I wonder why it's... Kind of fitting almost, but uh, we're going to go here with the cobbled deep slate stairs. We're going to go down here, two down. I'm going to probably do this on all of them because we're going to make windows. And uh, I don't know if I want it to be entirely covered because we might, I might end up using these obviously oak doors or oak trap doors. I mean, on each side is what I do for a lot of my windows, but I don't know. It might look a little bit strange if we do it like that. Coming back with our backup, I think spruce trap doors are going to be here to save the day. This is my other favorite way of doing the windows, and that's just putting the sides down here. Instead of them flat on the wall, they just go up against uh, perpendicular to the building itself. And uh, we can still put the plant inside. Whatever, we're plant, whatever plant you want can go in here. I like the azaleas or the ferns, but I'm kind of out of ferns right now. Go ahead and strip this guy down. Oh, and I spotted a dolphin. What's up, my guy? How you doing down there? Finish this right here, and then we can hop down. I have a couple places where I wanted to put some stairs. I know directly in the middle 
and we're probably going to go one, two, three, four, five right here and spread these out. Maybe, honestly, go going out by three is might, that might be the way to do it. I'll have to kind of measure all of these out. Not looking too bad up here. I should probably eat some steak uh, in case I fall down, but uh, oh, I see a fish. I see a couple fish way down there. Don't get distracted. Do not get distracted. We have some calcite to go ahead and put up here. It's going to be deep slate all the way down, and I figured, you know what? Let's get some calcite in between these big red pillars over here. I keep hearing spiders down here as well. Yeah, they're like, they're like, there's like a spider in each of these corners. It's kind of strange. I wonder if that's like affecting any of the mob spawning rate. It probably is. I wonder if I just need to like, if I just swam out pretty far away and had everything despawn and come back, I think it would be okay. But I wonder if there's a way to make it so none of the spiders got stuck in here. Wow, this thing is looking like a mess so far, but it'll, it'll get there. Now this next section with the calcite walls might be a little, uh, it might be a little tricky. It might be a little easy though. We just have to, we have to work with the blocks that we have. I'm gonna use the quartz stairs right here as something to, okay. That's not too bad. Working with the white blocks is something that I'm not really used to. I don't, I don't really do it that often. As you might tell if you've been a long time viewer of this channel. Uh, yeah, white blocks is something that we, it's just, it's kind of foreign to me. Let's get some gates over here. Boom, boom, boom. And we have the chain number one. Chain number two, we can go bam and bam over here. That, now that's not too bad. Time to start thinking about a roof also. I think I'm gonna start lining up the edge with some slabs and I'm probably just gonna keep it deep slate. Man, I'm, I'm thinking about either using mud or just regular stone bricks to uh, use for the roof color. It's nice to get a lot of different colors around here because we have the white, we have the red, we have the deep slate down there, the actual cobbled deep slate as well. It's going to be nice once we get a lot more of the, the calcite up. I only have about half of it up right now. It'll, it'll be nice to have all these different colors because the gray on the roof on the top is hopefully going to add a uh, really nice texture. And I think we're going to go up very gradually, kind of like a very like an elven type roof where it's uh, very got a nice curve on the bottom. It's a little flatter on the bottom and very uh, very steep towards the top. I'm thinking now that on the corner of these, uh, the big roof here, I think uh, a little bit of the action where we put the deep slate tile wall into the fence, into the chain, into the lantern, I think that might look pretty cool if we do that to everything, like all four corners, it'll just make it seem like there's a little bit more action going on here. Okay, now we're taking a step back after a full long play of gathering an entire 10,000 blocks of deep slate and also like a four and a half hour long stream where we built basically everything on the side here it's finally done it's oh my god didn't even do i didn't even do that top corner i might be the most uh forgetful and inefficient youtuber out there man this is this has got to be like this is this is a mistake almost every single episode we got the bing we got the bang we got the boom and we got the bop i'm glad we could get the mixture of the azalea bushes and the ferns in there too we got the ferns all the way down the side and oh well i'm falling really fast but yeah here's the ferns i love it ferns on the bottom azaleas on the top it's 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 absolutely button mania we're, we're menaces for the buttons 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 and more buttons working on the roof for the top of the mob farm and i am just going absolutely insane with these trapdoors i might come back these bottom trapdoors right here might replace those with slabs if we need a little bit more thickness on the top but for right now we're just going up making everything look try to look as good as possible with these two layered trap doors actually right here it's three different layers Ooh, that's not gonna be good what if we actually just go to the side right there that's that's a little bit better. Pretty steep at the top, and uh, it's going down here at the bottom. I don't... I'm um, definitely going to have to get more buttons on the side, because the buttons up there, it definitely adds texture, but we don't have any buttons down here. And as far as the lanterns go, I think I'm just going to have a row of lanterns up at the top, because at the nighttime, it'd be kind of cool to see... I don't know, just a little bit of light coming from way up here. This is, it's kind of looking like a witch hat when we're up here, but I don't, I don't mind at all. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just break this down, and uh, let's go check out over here exactly what it looks like from far away. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. I might get a little bit of light in the, like, behind the glass by adding some glowstone back there, but... Honestly, this isn't this. I like this a lot. And uh, the mob farm, I calculated it's a little bit, it's far enough away to where I'm high enough. Like if I were to go all the way up to the build height and chill up there where you normally would go in these mob farms uh, to get as much XP as possible when you come back down, uh, I kind of built it uh, far enough away from the village to where I can get the same thing if I'm just hanging out around this pond. So I'm actually going to do that for a little bit. I'm going to hang out up here just to kind of get a gauge of where I want to build my next build as well. Uh, I kind of like it up here. I just keep going higher and higher and this, this is fun. I'm also just now remembering that uh, I never really built this down to the bottom of the ocean. You can kind of just swim under it right now and then get to it, which is 
Not really what you need to- Oh, there's a creeper. Hey, what's up, my guy? You can be gone. Let's go ahead and get this fixed right here all the way down. And we can hop in here. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, left a piece of sand in here. I am going to just put glowstone on the end of here. Nothing would be spawning in here, just basically because, uh, yeah, I have all slabs right here, so nothing's going to happen. But, you know, now nothing for sure is not going to uh, pop in here. I guess a baby zombie could technically spawn up here. So this is going to help with any of that type of spawnage. While I'm up here, I'm thinking if you take some of these gates and just kind of close them real quick, it actually might make the texturing look a little better. So that's what I'm going to do all the way around. And I'm falling. Thought it might be a good idea to put some glass through the floor, just because right here, I don't know, I just, it kind of seems nice when you can see all the, the wildlife under you. Mm. Ooh, and instead of like using torches for lights and stuff, I'm actually just going to go, let's go ahead and just use these frog lights. Look at this, we'll go a bit. Actually, let's just alternate all three of them. Let's go ahead and use pink, yellow, oh, that's not it. I'm little, I'm just messing up immediately. We're going to go green, then yellow. Wow, underwater frog lights. Yeah, these are these are just awesome. So actually, what I was thinking was also, since it's going to be glass, I think I'm going to go on the edge here. We're going to go yellow, pink, green, all the way around on this side as well, but then you'll be able to see it underwater. And green, and then another yellow, but we're just at, oh no, that's not good. It doesn't line up. We're going to have to go backwards with the pink here. Let's decorate the sides here. I don't want to bring the lights all the way up to the side, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them here. Go bing bang and boom and bop, and let's do that on all four corners here. Dude, the, the glass, like, reflection with all of these frog lights is really making... It's a it's like a futuristic style build inside of here, and then you just go out very ominous, and it's very, uh, very eerie. It's like a prison outside, and you go in. And it is, it is not like a prison in here. It's like a, it's like a dance floor in here. And we got some creepers and skellies. Hi, dude, everybody, they just keep falling. I haven't really gone that far away in a while, but I wonder if they're just constantly spawning. Couple last finishing touches to do are gonna be, let's flip these up here. We gotta, I guess, get these to the side now. Also, I wanted to get just a little bit of a dock that I could put my boat up to every time because it's in the middle of the water. So I'm gonna be swimming up here or using my boat. I'm gonna use the yellow or the ochre frog lights. And uh, I guess I think I'm gonna surround them with the jungle trap doors because i think that looks nice go boom and then we go boom and we have two covered frog lights all right i think i'm gonna do this on all four sides dude this thing is this thing's coming together man i think very last detail that i can think of is just gonna be this little flag over here that we're gonna use we always use the quartz and we're gonna continue using the quartz Ooh, it's a party in here now let's go yeah i, I don't i didn't i honestly didn't go that far away but stuff is just spawning like a madhouse in here Okay, now one last thing. I really just kind of I wanted to get over here and get uh, just one last little bit right below the water. There we go. I feel like that's just going to bring out a lot. And then, ooh, actually, you know what we can even do is I have a little bit more flower pot, a little bit more furniture left. Let's go up here, see if we can get that in and that in. Yes, let's go. Time to get all this out of here, though. I do want to thank... Oh, God. Dang, dang, whoa, I'm dropping really far. I do want to thank you guys for coming down today, though. Seriously, this was a really fun episode. That is going to be it, though. Thank you guys for joining on all the Twitch streams, and thank you for becoming a Patreon member if you have been. This whole room in here is awesome. And now we have an XP farm. Dude, I am... I'm just, I'm just happy in general. Thank you guys for watching. Episode 7 is going to be coming out very soon, so stay tuned. Take care of yourselves and do something nice for someone. Thanks, guys. Bye.